The signs of life sprouting up in northern Uganda go far beyond the rich soil. It's in the smiles and hearts of the people. Not far from the fields, a crop of another kind. One rooted in the seeds planted by Crossroads Missions through Victory Outreach Ministries' agricultural program. Behind me is one of the biggest outgrowths of the Vomac project. Churches have sprung up everywhere in some of the most remote regions. This one is just a few weeks old. Nearly everyone in the village is here. God who came all the way from heaven. Vomap director Pastor Charles O'Queer says agriculture doesn't just bring prosperity, but hope. Because of what we are doing, actually life is coming back to people. And people have begun to confess it and say, this project has come at the right time to really speak to our hearts that we are to forget with the past. The past is God, we should now forget it and then concentrate on again raising crops, farming, and all things will come back to the hand of people. Life doesn't just come from the fields, but from the well. And that's why VOMAP's other focus is water. Water is life. It's important and key that um, we provide um, clean water to our society because a number of our society members, um, they drink very dirty water which therefore gives them waterborne diseases. Many water sources were either destroyed or damaged by the conflict. And that's why scenes like this one still happen. Yeah, it's like a spring, okay. spring water. So this is spring water, but this does not look like spring water. This does not look clean to me. And it isn't, but the alternative is no better. He's saying that, uh, well, one, in that place there are so many people that are uh, uh, that are crowded there and then secondly also because it's not as far from where she stays. It's oh. estimated the average woman, and it is women who get the water here, travels up to six kilometers a day to get it. This woman is too weak to make that trip. Her and her children pay the price. Saying that they know that the, the water is, is, is bad, is, is dirty, but because of the lack of it because they don't have any other source of water nearby. So that's why they come and they, they drink it. It's shocking to see so many at this roadside water hole, even for Pastor Johnson. It depends me so much, but uh, to, the, to the other side, I also see that, well, so far we have made a difference with some few, although there is still so much um, that um, has to be done. So I feel both the pain and also the joy. This is the joy he's talking about, one that's flowing throughout the region. We have provided now uh, 14 repairs uh, sponsored by Crossroads and uh, that has really given um, our society in some areas you find there are about 200,000, about uh, 300,000 people in a location that do not have clean water. You see so many women yeah. doing this. Yeah. Is this considered women's work? Um, well, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a joy that's contagious. Life isn't easy here, but there are signs of it everywhere. Crossroads Missions representative Chester Van Heusen has seen it up close. I believe that God wants to restore this nation in a way that we've never seen before. I, I really believe that not only does he want to restore it physically, but he wants to restore it spiritually. And I, and I really do believe that Northern Uganda is going to be an example to the world of what God can do in a nation, in people's lives. And like these seedlings, they've got a long way to go and grow and require a lot of care. Let me thank you for participating in helping our people know God has not forsaken them.